I'm back running, I'm back making YouTube videos, I'm back filming, I'm back taking my GoPro out of me on runs and yeah, I'm just back to where we were like back in May hopefully so there's going to be new videos coming out, there's going to be loads of different kind of content, running, conditioning workouts, strength training and potentially a new series but that's kind of like in the works at the minute but at the minute with my running I'm not really I'm not really going for times, I'm not aiming for a certain distance, I'm just kind of going off like minutes. So today's a Monday and it was a 45 minute run, then Wednesday is going to be a shorter run but maybe a little bit more intense and then Saturday is going to be my longer run. I'll go through it all properly in the next like few videos or briefly touch upon it today when I go through what my goals are, but for now I need to, I need to shower, I need to cool down and I need to do some stretching. in joggers that are tucked into my socks but it's comfortable to do flexibility in and well they're just comfortable in general but yeah flexibility and mobility and stuff like that is definitely something that I'm prioritizing in 2021 I used to hate it now I absolutely enjoy it I do it every single day and I'm gonna be doing an entire video on it so stay tuned for that one Anyway, hello everyone. I've not actually introduced this video at all. I'm so out of sorts with filming. I'm not very good at it anymore, if I ever was. But the plan for this video, it was actually supposed to be recorded and uploaded at the beginning of the year because it was like a new year, new me, new goals kind of thing. But lockdown kind of threw me off and I had to kind of reassess what was important and what wasn't, what would be achievable this year in terms of lockdowns and gyms closing and and yeah it kind of made me think a little bit of what's realistic and what I can achieve and stuff like that. Also this is quite exciting for anyone who's interested in cameras or camera gear or a vlogging setup you might realize that I currently have a moon face and that's because well I haven't actually figured out what works and what doesn't with this new kind of gear that I've got for the camera but basically for Christmas I got this this light thing and it's so handy, especially in the winter. And hopefully the videos do look better eventually, but because I'm kind of learning things and my camera doesn't have like a flip screen so I can actually see what I look like. I might be a little bit too bright, but you know, we'll bear with it. And hopefully within the next few videos, I will, I'll get it sorted. So let's actually talk about what this video is about. And that is what my goals are in 2021 in terms of my training. I thought it'd be a cool video to look back on at the end of the year to see if I've actually achieved them because the list of things that I've set myself should should be realistic or they shouldn't be far off. So hopefully I won't get injured, hopefully it won't become too overwhelming and hopefully we can look back on it at the end of the year and I'm like, right, yeah, I've actually achieved them or I'm very nearly there without injury because I'm prioritising recovery. So before I actually talk about what the goals are in terms of strength and running endurance, I thought I'd talk about something briefly which I kind of touched up upon, 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 touched upon what I have touched upon earlier on in this video and that is stretching, mobility and just general recovery because it's something that I've never prioritised before and saying out loud it's it's, I had no excuses, but you should prioritise recovery. If you're going to run, if you're going to run long distances, if you're going to put your body under pressure in the gym with weights, you need to have those days where you have a flexibility routine, you have a recovery routine. And that's something I definitely want to bring onto this channel because it is probably my main goal within 2021 to avoid injury and to make sure that I'm, I'm improving, my performance is improving, I'm more mobile, I'm more flexible. And I did have specific goals for that, I'm not going to talk about them because I don't I don't think they're necessary. I don't I might not achieve them and I feel like at the minute whilst I'm not very flexible, I shouldn't really be setting myself things like the forward fold or or whatever. It's not gonna be the splits, I'm never gonna be able to do the splits, I'm never gonna be that flexible, but but you know what I'm getting at. Basically, flexibility, avoiding injury and general recovery is the biggest goal for 2021 in terms of all of my goals, because that's what brings everything together. So let's talk about endurance and endurance is probably my favorite thing to do. I'm, I'm not necessarily very good at it. I'm not very quick at running or anything like that, but I do enjoy it and it, it does bring me quite a lot of joy. And I have 
thought about a few different endurance events that I want to do in the future. I'm not going to talk about them because that will probably change, but mostly it's mostly running. And the first one is I really want to do a half marathon. And I have signed up to the London Marathon, so I could possibly be training for a marathon this year, but chances of me actually getting inside are very slim. So I definitely want to do a half marathon whether it's on the streets, if it is a race, if the if races do go ahead. But a half marathon is definitely something I really want to achieve because I've never done it. And the most I've run is 15K, so we're not far off. And I definitely do think I will be able to achieve that in the summer if I train well and recover well and prioritize stretching and cooling down and having recovery days. Next is a sub 25 minute 5K, or more specifically a 23 minute 5K. At the minute, I'm kind of sitting on around 27 minutes when I push myself. I have, I have had quite a few months off. I haven't been consistent with my running, but recently I have been. So if I train well and I follow a right training program, I definitely do think that is gonna be achievable this year without injuring myself. So a sub 25 minute 5K within the next six months. And then at the end of the year, hopefully I'll get a 23 minute 5K or, or yeah, something around that. And then my final endurance goal is a sub 55 minute 10K. And if my 5K time goes down, then there's no reason why my 10K time isn't gonna go down. My current best is 59 minutes, which I'm quite happy with because I achieved that last year. And I feel like if I didn't get injured last year, I definitely would have achieved these goals in 2020, but I did get injured, it is what it is. And hopefully this year I will achieve all the goals that I wanna achieve, especially if my Manchester 10K does go ahead in September. I definitely wanna do that under 55 minutes at, at, at the worst. That's like the very least I want to do. If I could get it under 50 minutes, that would be incredible. But like I keep saying, I, I want to prioritize recovery. I don't want to get injured. And I want to make sure that I'm not pushing myself too hard. I'm not pushing my body through unnecessary amounts of pressure just to get a time in a run. And then finally, we have the strength side to the hybrid training program. And more specifically, I want to, I want to increase my strength in terms of body weight. So. I want to be able to do press ups well. I'm not far off. I could definitely be better. And I also want to do 10 pull ups by the end of the year. I can barely do one, but you know, like we've got a whole year to do this. So I reckon with a lot of practices, a lot of dedication, I will be able to achieve the 10 pull ups. And if I can do that, I will be pretty chuffed. And then the final strength goal is a 60 kg bench press. At the minute, I, well, before lockdown, I was sitting on probably, I think it was like 37, 37 kg. So we have got a long way to go, but I feel like if I can bench press my own body weight, then everything else is gonna be a lot easier. So bench press is a massive priority for me this year. Obviously it all depends on lockdowns and stuff like that. But but yeah, I definitely think, I th definitely think everything that I've said is achievable. And then on top of that, I also, I wanna do a freestanding handstand. That's kind of just a bit of fun. I was practicing them before Christmas and obviously gym got closed and there really isn't that much room in my house at the minute to practice stuff like that. But yeah, just the main priority for me is remain injury free, be consistent and just have fun. I love training, I love fitness and the whole point of me doing this is because I enjoy doing it, I enjoy documenting my journey and hopefully I'll inspire other people to to do other things and not be afraid to combine strength and endurance or endurance and strength and and yeah that is they're, they're my main goals for 2021 and hopefully we can look back at this at the end of the year and be like right yeah i got my body weight bench press i can do 10 pull-ups i can run a sub 55 minute 10k i'm the fittest i've ever been and i'm the strongest i've ever been but i'm also the happiest i've ever been Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was like a bit of a sit down in one, but there's a lot of vlogs coming, a lot of running vlogs, training vlogs, mobility, stretching vlogs, follow along. It's just, I've got a lot planned and I can't wait to film them. So if you like this video, please like it and give it a thumbs up, you know, that kind of thing. It really does help the channel out a lot. If you are new, please subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.